What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fence Vlogs. Today we're back on this impound lot project. Let's take you guys around and show, show you what all we got done. Alright guys, so the fabric's just temp tied up for right now. I haven't gone through and, and dressed the post and uh, tidied everything off yet. But here we are so far. This thing's been a muddy mess. But it's turning out good. You can see what I've had to deal with this whole project. What a mess. And I got the back fence lined up and stretched too. Same thing. Right now everything's just, just temp tied. I haven't dressed the fabric yet or, or tied it off. Right now with me working solo, I'm trying to get the heavy part done first. I'm just going to go ahead and stretch the whole job. And then I'll go through and tie it off uh, when everything's stretched. I just want to get the heavy stuff done and over with. Mud hole. So, this last 30 feet, there was a big hump in the top rail. I went through and cut that down a little bit. I'm going to have to do a little bit of trenching. The chimney fabrics already started to trench it for me. It was telling me it wanted to go down. So, I don't have much trust to do there and through here uh, maybe about an inch or so and it'll be good Hon honestly I could have gotten away with not cutting it but I wasn't happy with the way it looked and that's kind of what it separates to me what separates a fence builder from a fence installer just willing to go the extra mile to make things look good once i get that trench down and get the fabric dressed and tied off it'll, it'll look great on this line i've got a little hump there towards the center of the fence line you can see it right there i'm gonna knock that down too but i'll Go ahead and stretch the chain link first and see where it wants to lay and then uh, make do my fine tuning accordingly. The two stretches I have done were the by far the hardest on this project. A lot of obstacles I'm dealing with on this back line with the trees and then we got the carport over on the other side. My original game plan was to, I built a, or I, I bought a quad, and my original game plan was to build a chain link fence dispenser for my quad. Um, I've done that before, before in the past and it worked out good. So we'll be doing that on an upcoming video, probably once this job's completed. Um, but the rest of this, it's nice and open so it should be it, it'll go a lot faster than what the two back lines did so let's get after it all right so i wanted to show you guys a little trick um, for those of you who aren't as well versed on commercial chain link or you know those who are versed but just don't know um i'll show you a little trick for the tension bars so when you're double stacking tension or double stacking chain leg um, like on back stops or uh, warehouse cages things of that, that, that nature a big problem is a lot of times the tension bars want to slide down and, and slide out of the chain link but if you take your fence pliers put it in and just give it a little crimp I usually do three to four it's going to keep that bar from wanting to slip down just one less thing for you to fight with I got the wire stood up, temp tied, and most of the slack pulled out by hand. Go ahead and get this thing stretched. 
All right, and there it is up and stretched. Like I said, I do have two posts that I need to turn down just a hair, maybe half inch or so, and I think they'll be good. Obviously the wire isn't, ele isn't um, elevated and tied off yet, but there we go. Last stretch. All right guys, as you can see, I got the last stretch up, stretched out. Now, when I did this, typically we do a small section right here for the pilot post and then uh, use the other pilot post for another terminal post to do the longer stretch. But I also see a lot of guys just doing a solid sweat stretch like I did here and then twisting ties around them, which brings up a pretty interesting debate. How, how do you guys do these? Parts right here as you can see I, I have this post stressed out typically what I do is I do a, a solid stretch but then I'll run my my tension bars and connect my tension bands and then just cut out the access and that way I don't have to mess with stretching this small stretch I could just stretch it all one shot connect everything to the terminal post and then cut out the access but let me know in the comments down below what you guys do. I think it'd be a pretty interesting topic to bring up in all of our local or all of our our fence groups. So, but I am worn out, guys. It has been a long day. I I stood and stretched about 240 foot of fence today by myself, and my body's telling me I'm not 20 anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and and uh go home for the night and we'll get back on this thing tomorrow the hard part's done it's pretty much smooth sailing from here um now it's time to start i have a little bit of fine tuning to do and and we'll go ahead and get this thing tied off and and barbed wire in get the gate hung this thing's a done deal happy fencing guys i'll see you guys next video